What's going on, folks? So I want to talk about this artificial intelligence society that we're in and how dependent we are on machines and machines going to take over and they got flying cars that they're going to be, you know, they're creating or already created self-driving vehicles. But take a look at a few of these movies and shows and see how it matches up to now. Demolition Man, watch that movie again with Sylvester Stallone and John, um, that's John Spartan going against uh, Wesley Snipes. It's, uh, Simon Phoenix film explores a society that has become overly sanitized and controlled where anything deemed unhealthy or violent is outlaw. A little cancel culture, so to speak. The contrast between Spartan's aggressive old school tactics and the pacified future society provides much of the film's action. But you take a look at that movie and see how it is comparing to, to now. Terminator movie. The movie was um, Schwarzenegger. Uh, Terminator is uh, sent back in time to take care of Sarah Connor, whose uh, son John is destined to lead the human resistance against machines uh, in the future. A soldier from the future, Kyle Reese, is also sent back to protect Sarah. The film explores themes of fate, technology taking over, right, and survival. Why don't you also check out Johnny Five? It came out in 1986. Science fiction movie military robot named Number Five is struck by lightning and gains human like intelligence and consciousness. He escapes from the military facility and befriends a, befriends a young woman. Uh, the movie follows Johnny Five's journey as he discovers the world, evades military capture, and learns about life while developing his own personality and free will. You guys, look at this stuff, man. Also, The Jetsons. A sitcom created uh, by Hannah Barbara is set in a futuristic world with flying cars, robot maids, listen, and advanced technology. The show follows the daily life of George Jetson and his family, including his wife, Jane, teenage daughter, Judy, and young son, Elroy, as well as their dog, Astro, and robotic maid, Rosie. Family is it's about the dynamics of their nuclear family living in a high-tech space age future often satire uh, the consumer culture and social issues of the time and then finally the matrix in this iconic science fiction film came out in 1999 uh, it's the computer programmer who goes by the hacker Elias Neo dis discovers that the reality he knows is an artificial simulation created by intelligent machines to subdue the human population. The real world is a future where humanity is imprisoned in a simulated reality while their bodies are used as the energy source by the machines with the help of a group of rebels led by Morpheus. And Trinity, Neo begins to understand his role as the one who can potentially end the world between humans and machine, challenging the nature of reality and control. Folks, I'm only reading that because we are here. We are here. This stuff came back. I mean, one of the movies came out in 1999, but we got movies on here that came out in the 80s. And that stuff is happening now. I don't think you guys are paying attention to this. But they the goal of a lot of these folks behind the scenes is to make machines us to become so dependent on machines and robots, but it's gonna to get to a point where these robots are gonna start learning us, learning how we move, learn how we talk, learn how we act, and 
and take over where they can't be controlled. Speaking in our own community, we can't even think anymore. Like, it's interesting. It's funny how people were talking about chat GPT and someone saying they ain't going to use chat GPT, but use spell check. It is becoming a society where the kids can't even kids can't even think without some type of phone, some type of computer. So wisdom and intelligence, well I say wisdom and using your brain is becoming extinct. And before you know it, you work in a nine to five right now, your job's gonna be eventually replaced by a robot. And we'll become so dependent on machines that it's gonna get to a point in time where what are you gonna do when the machines go blank or things go dead? even going to know how to survive. Self-driving cars. They already got cars that can fly. See, people should have started paying attention once they start seeing them create machines. Once they start creating machines in the workforce, you should have known the robots were coming. They're already creating, or they already have robotic wives, robotic husbands, holograph, or actual physical robots, robotic vacuum cleaners. It was, um, it was this movie, I forgot the name of it, but it was this guy who literally was in relationship with an artificial intelligence. Um, he's an actor by the name of, uh, his last name is Phoenix. And he literally was in an actual relationship with a robot. Or the, it was like a artificial intelligence. It called him and knew everything about him. And one thing I understand is the new currency is not money anymore. It's data. Money don't have much value as data. That's why you gotta understand that everything that we use that's free is taking your data. Facebook's free but it's taking your data. All these things that we're using is taking your data. Even schools, taking your data. You know, it's amazing how even if we think about it from a tax perspective, like where where's our money going to? Is it going to schools? You say yeah. So why do schools keep asking parents for money? For supplies? Why are the teachers having to buy their own supplies? I mean Having to, having to go to parks and then some of these parks are charging you to go to the park. But what are the taxes for? See, the thing you have to understand is if the taxes are coming out of our check that we can see coming out of our check, but we can't see where the money is actually going. We're living in a society where the wool is over our eyes. 
Like, I don't know if you noticed, they talked about there's places now where they're saying you can't wear a mask anymore. And you totally think it's because, oh, they just want to see your face. Yeah, they want to see your face so they can scan it. They want to scan your face. They want to scan your face. That's why it's going to get to a point where it don't even matter. It's not even going to matter about your social security card. They're going to have your fingerprints and your face. Right now, they're asking if you want to give it. Your phone. Hey, you want to give me your fingerprint? Or your face, they're doing that right now. But then we'll get to a point where they ain't gonna ask you anymore. This is the reality. It's gonna get to a point now. Y'all ain't gonna y'all they gonna replace the cops. They're already replacing doctors with robots. So you folks that have, don't understand how much of a liability it is to have somebody making that much money as a doctor and then they can, they're human, so they're gonna make a mistake. They'll rather have a robot make less mistakes. So the robots are going to replace the doctors and the nurses, the secretaries, the realtors, This guy right here in front of me is he don't have no he don't have no muffler at all. None. But um you going to start seeing it. Even the pastors are using artificial intelligence. Cuz they may want to not preach at their home church so they might just pull up a hologram of them and be able to preach somewhere else. They're already doing hologram interviews. Star Trek was trying to tell you. They've been showing you the hologram versus somewhere else, but a hologram of their image is somewhere else. That way somebody from China ain't gotta come over here to do an interview or business deal. This is where we are. They're already trying to show us back in the day. future is here. We just late to the party. All of these professions are going to be replaced. Lawyers are going to be replaced by a robot. Because the thing you have to understand is they're going to find a robot is more efficient at doing repetitive tasks than a human. See, the thing is about humans is the reason why they're going to get robots to replace these workers is because how many great workers are there? For the most part, the majority of a workforce, they're decent. There's some, a few of them that are great or a few of them that are good and, and in less than that are actually great. Data is the new currency. They gonna try to, they already going to space, which to me, I don't think space exists, but you could just say above earth. Because to me, you read it from a biblical sense. God never let folks build past a certain barrier. He never let people fly past a certain barrier. He never let people take their boats or, or submarines past a certain barrier. 
That's why when the Tower of Bell, they were trying to build, and he was like, man, they was, they was almost close to building all the way past where they should have been going. So that's why we all have different languages now. Because if we all spoke the same language, there's so much that we could do. That's why we haven't done as much as we possibly could do is because of the language barrier. So they're going back again and saying, you know what? These robots are going to be able to speak any language. And really, the language, the only language that they want these robots to learn is do. Go watch the Jetsons again. This is where we are right now. Self-driving cars, self-driving trucks, self-driving trains. This is where we are right now. Y'all just late to the party. And we are so dependent on these machines that we can't even think anymore. It reminds me of um, the George Orwell, Orwell book. Basically he's talking about group thought. I didn't find the name of that book. What was the name of that book? But everything's happening all over again. And it's crazy that all that stuff looks so far fetch back in the day and now it looks like it's matching up 1984 so he was making in that book 1984 and it was published in 1949 and basically was saying Society will be ruled by Big Brother, extreme government that had total control and they manipulated the truth. That's where we are now. You brothers out there right now just sleep, not even paying attention to what's going on. Not paying attention. Reminds me of that Nas record. Sleep is the cause of the death. So many people are asleep at the will. And black folks, we the most sleep. Out of everybody, we the most at sleep of the will. Ain't paying attention. Don't own no land. Don't own no property. Totally fine with just being an employee. And we don't see what's going on. All we're doing is just sleep at the will. Start paying more attention to these movies. Start watching it just to have a blast. These movies are telling you stuff in advance. Go watch The Matrix. Go watch Demolition Man. Go watch The Terminator. Go watch The Jetsons. Go and watch Boondocks. Go and watch The Simpsons. So you can get away more with cartoons than you can with the news. See, if you really think about it, the news can't just put on whatever thing they want to put on. The news has to go through the government first before they put out anything. 
See, I think the dumbest thing that I want you guys to understand, you actually think Trump run this country when he ran it? Or Kamala Harris, if she wins, she ran it? Or Biden runs it? You actually think they run it? They are the puppets. These countries are ran by the trillionaires and the billionaires that you don't know. They ain't ran by Buffett or Gates. Even though these guys are wealthy and they got some pull, they are ran by the names you don't know. The names you don't know, that's who runs this country. Y'all actually think it's somebody... You would think Steve Jobs ran this world? Or Elon Musk? No, they have they have a lot of influence. But it's ran by the real big wigs that are calling the shots. These folks know who's getting assassinated. These folks know what the stock market gonna be. These folks know what inflation gonna be. These folks know all the real numbers. And you up there sleep at the wheel. You better start owning some property. Start building some bunkers. You've seen all these billionaires getting bonkers um, overseas or going to Hawaii or all these various places because they know something about to go down. And while you out there taking your selfie and going live and, and, and playing around with filters, the real deal behind the scenes is making things happen.